let's just hopefully we can find something a bit exciting. It's like they've actually built around the corner. Look at that. It's, like, it's a corner hive. <laughs> It's like when they build those buildings at the end of that intersection, it just has the little corny bit because they had to fit. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I've never seen a little nest quite this crazy. Goodness gracious, girls, what have you done? There's one nice bit down here. Uh, oh, it's a nice solid bit of brood there. The jolly sun's going down. I didn't tell the missus that I was going to be late tonight, so this could be interesting. Oh, anyway. Anyway, she knows us bloody bad beekeepers are out doing something stupid. We'll just tip a few more of these, I reckon, before we lose anybody. Yep. <laughs> that made a bit of excitement. Well, they weren't upset before, they are now. <laughs> That's a bit more like it. Goodness me. Well, they're starting to congregate to that box already, so I don't know. We'll see. She might already be in there. Hopefully, with that big rattle that we just did a minute ago. I don't think I've ever seen such a messy nest. This is ridiculous. Crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Crazy. I've never seen them build around corners before. I mean, that's just bonkers. Because I've obviously just had to build it around the branches that were in the way. And it's bloody unreal. Because normally, like, if you would have seen, they've usually got the nice sheets. Which is why they've come up with this idea. The nice sheets of bloody brood. But this has just got shit going every direction. Look at this, we've got one bit going here, and we've got one bit going there, and we've got this one on a round angle. Look at that. All the kept bees are dying of starvation. These chicks out here in the weather. <laughs> Rocking shit. Rocking it off. Do you reckon maybe we'll just leave the box here? Do you think anybody will notice? We'll throw a branch over its head and <laughs> store them here. Come collect a bit of Loxton honey. I mean, the chances of it being here in a month's time would be a bloody slim, wouldn't it? Well, that's supposed to be a brave person to nick a bee box. Well, you wouldn't think people would actually nick a beehive, but they do. There's been a few bit few get blooming ripped off around here. I was watching a YouTube-y thing about the almond pollination and people were nicking them and re-renting re them. That's a bit messed up. <laughs> God. And then of course the poor bloke that owned the bees probably didn't get paid. I'm just looking here, this is just massive honey and sticky muck. So I'm thinking, and we've got a few bees stuck in here. So I'm thinking if I just stand the container up here next to where the entrance is and hopefully we don't create another nest away from the nest that we want them in and I'm just going to sit this here so then the lasers that are all stuck in that honey can walk their way into the hive and get cleaned up by each other. It's kind of fascinating when you watch them clean each other. You see a bee covered in honey and she'll come in and all the other girls will lick her, well I guess they're licking her clean, clean her all up and get her all organised and then she can go in and not make a mess. Bloody look after each other. Alright, over here I was thinking this was going to be nice and quick and easy. I was all excited when I saw how nice and low to the ground it was. I won't even need to bring a ladder. And now it's actually taken longer than normal. Because it's seen such entanglement. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I guess we'll have to come back and have a, have a talk with the kindy kids about bees and what was going on. So the kindy superintendent would she be the superintendent <laughs> anyway she's invited us to give a bit of a talk about beekeeping so we thought well we can hardly actually take this blooming box of bees in to show the kids can we so we're going to make a little going to make a little mobile observation hive i think so hopefully by the time we get that organized well, that'll be kind of cool that'll be something different i'm not exactly sure how we're going to make a blooming small observation hive but We'll probably have to go and buy some stuff, won't we? Because I don't think I've had that laying around the backyard. Obviously, we've got the door open down here where they're running in and out of, but I don't know, I'm just a bit concerned as the field bees all come back, they're used to just landing on this. So I'm hoping that they'll land here. Hopefully the queen doesn't decide to walk out and do her thing, but anyway, I don't think she will. Anyway, we'll come back in the morning and see what sort of trouble we're in.
Right, girls, I wonder what we're doing this morning. Hell, I hope they've all decided to go in the box. Heck, look how they've clustered up a bit. I think I might go and put my bee suit on though. I don't know that I'm this brave. So we'll get this out of the way for a start. Hopefully we can sweep them in the box. A little bit gentle. Looks like they've made their home. Oh God. That doesn't look promising. <laughs> They're outside bees, I think. They don't know what this getting in the box business is. I'm just wondering whether we pick it up like it is or maybe we shut it down and actually leave it here and pick it up tonight. I don't know, because this is like, like they're still out here fairly well and quite a lot. It's pretty enthusiastic here. This is a serious nest. <laughs> Since they've been here established for quite a while, they're a bit freaked out. I reckon we're just going to put the strap on. Well, that sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? But anyway, we're going to put our tie on the lid and then I reckon we'll just leave them here and we'll come back tonight after they've settled down and check them out again then. Because I figure they haven't attacked anybody since they've been living here for a year, so it won't hurt. But anyway, who knows? We'll come back tonight and the box might have buggered off. <laughs> right, yo. Here we are again, another sunrise. Da -da -da. Hopefully we can get the ladies organised today. It looks a little bit more respectable from here anyway. <coughs> I don't know. Are they around the top? It looks like they're setting back in there. That's cool. So I reckon that's the go. I'm happy with that. But I think I'm a coward, so I'm gonna go and put my bee suit on in case. Just in case it does like it did the other day. Remember when I was carrying that box and it fell in half? Oh my god. So I think being, well hell if that happens I don't know what we'll do, we'll just get in the car and bugger off I think, but anyway, I think I'll suit up <laughs> and then we'll figure it out. Here we go Mandy, we'll get rid of your bees. So now your little kindergarten kids can have a bit of smoko in peace. <laughs> Hello chicks, let's get you the hell out of here before everybody wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> is it me? Or did Henry or Henrietta let one rip? House is shaking. <laughs> that has to be one of the worst jokes you've ever told. <laughs> oh well, it sort of it made sense in my mind. You know sometimes when it sounds good in your head until it comes out your mouth and then it's too late to put it back in. <laughs> it's just not fair, is it? I wonder if comedians feel like that on the stage when they when a joke bombs. They're like, oh, nobody really got that, did they? <laughs> the really sad part about this show is that the lad won't even edit me out when I'm crap. <laughs> so he just leaves it on there. <sighs> Do you reckon we'll make it to the shed without putting our suit on? I reckon we'll be right. Anyway, this could be the last episode if I drop the box, but hopefully not. Welcome to your new home. Sorry you won't have any kinder kids to stir up anymore. They're seriously not sure about being inside. I think they're kind of like a little bit weird ass. Anyway. Hopefully they'll settle in here and be quite comfortable. I'm a bit worried that they're still on the front of the box. It's, maybe they're inside outside bees. Who knows what the hell's going on? Anyway, they'll be a lot safer here than in that bush, so that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> 